<laughs> so yeah, is my bamboo saxophone that I made at home using the most simple rudimental hand tools available. Saw, hand drill for the holes and uh, a very sharp Stanley or box knife, what we call it here. Um, just to shave down a very thin piece of bamboo into a reed there. Uh, there you can see uh, it's very thin, very thin, thin enough to let light shine through it. And uh, I've left a bit of a thicker part here on the on the base, just for a added strength. And it's and it's glued on here with super glue, at this mark here where I was holding it on with some wire. Um, just to to get it uh, at the right angle to begin with and then i just super i eventually just super glued it on there at the back so this mouthpiece is 3.1 or yeah 3.5 centimeters long three and a half centimeters the total length is 31 centimeters and the first hole on it starts far about five and a half centimeters up from the base then the whole spacings are three and a half centimeters apart, except for this middle gap here, that's four and a half centimeters. Then it's back to three and a half for these last three holes. This, I'm not too sure on the diameter of the tube, but I know that makes a difference, plays in the key of C. Um, this low note here is actually C4, believe it or not. <laughs> So I think that's amazing for, for such a rudimentary construction. I don't think this angle matters that much on it. Just the thickness of the reed itself. It has to let light shine through. And um, it's about 2 centimeters thick, give or take. And it's 6 centimeters long. So um, yeah, that's, that's about the gist of it. And uh, I made a couple prototypes before I got this working. And um, the main thing that, that held me back was getting the reed to play. So in the beginning, I just used to bite on it like that. And I couldn't understand why it wasn't working. And you've actually got to put it in a bit deeper. To get it working. Um, and, and blowing over where the gap is there you see where the gap ends in between it actually goes on a bit further there beyond where the light's shining but you've almost got to put your lips right up to this point here where it's glued onto to get it to to vibrate but it produces a really warm tone <laughs> And uh, it's not that hard to play. I've actually coated my reed with some beeswax just to present, I mean, prevent it from getting gobbed up. And um, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. I play it all the time. And it's great, great thing to have, uh, have around just for fun. So I hope that helps with anyone trying to build a, a homemade bamboo saxophone. It took me quite a bit of fiddling around to get it right, but um, definitely worth trying. Um, good luck guys, and um, yeah, let's make music.